Hey, what's the big idea? I dread the last one. <laughs> what do you keep it? As we delve into the secrets of Leave It to Beaver, one intriguing mystery revolves around Mistress Cleaver's pearl jewelry. Could there be a dark secret behind this elegant accessory? Additionally, the show's lighthearted nature hides a surprising fact. What jokes were deemed too risque for this beloved series? Unraveling these hidden facets adds depth to our understanding of this classic. Let's uncover the enigmatic aura surrounding the Cleaver family and Mayfield once more. Hi, Beaver. I was waiting for you. Be it, Jess. But I want to talk to you. I don't want... In 1957, the television show Leave It to Beaver underwent a transition during its development. Initially titled Wally and the Beaver, the show almost had a different name due to concerns from sponsors about its original title, hinting at a nature documentary. The pilot episode, named It's a Small World, was part of the anthology series Hind Studio 57 and featured a young Harry Shearer who would later become a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. This early episode served as a platform for Shearer's talent, setting the stage for the iconic show that would soon follow. Gee, no fooling, Ma? As bad as that? As bad as that. Jerry Mathers, who portrayed Beaver in the TV series, caught the eye of the casting directors as he showed up for auditions in a Cub Scouts uniform, a choice influenced by his busy schedule that day. This unique outfit contributed to his casting, setting him apart from other auditionees. Barbara Billingsley, who played Mistress Cleaver, initially opted for flats for comfort. However, as her on-screen sons experienced growth spurts, she switched to heels to maintain the appearance of being taller than them. These costume choices and character development strategies added depth and authenticity to the beloved characters of the show. The attention to detail in dressing the characters helped bring them to life on screen, endearing them to audiences for generations to come. I have a school this year. Oh, well, I, um, I think the team should be pretty good, Dad. Despite a successful first season in 1958, Leave It to Beaver was initially canceled by CBS, but later picked up by ABC, continuing despite never breaking into the Nielsen Top 30. Mistress Cleaver's pearl necklace was not just a fashion statement, but used to cover a surgical scar on Billingsley's neck. This classic show's resilience and charm captivated audiences, ensuring its enduring legacy in television history. The heartwarming family dynamics and humorous escapades of the Cleaver family endeared them to viewers, creating a timeless connection that transcended generations. The show's ability to tackle relatable challenges with humor and warmth made it a beloved favorite among audiences of all ages. Leave It to Beaver remains a beloved piece of television nostalgia that continues to be cherished by fans worldwide. He didn't even have no father. Any father. In the book it said no father. Please, Dad. In 1957, the TV series featured the first ever toilet seen on TV in the episode Captain Jack, where the tank and flush handle were shown, but not the seat or pedestal. The show's setting was intentionally vague to appear universal, though hints such as the governor living in Madison suggested Wisconsin, and a request for a surfboard implied beach proximity. This classic paved the way for groundbreaking moments in television history. One and a half. Hey, that's neat. I asked my father if I could babysit sometime. What'd he say? Inspirations for the TV series drew heavily from the real-life childhood experiences of its writers, Joe Connolly and Bob Mosher, and included input from Billingsley, a mother herself, to add realism to familial interactions. This classic reflected the authenticity of family dynamics by incorporating personal experiences and insights from those involved in its creation. The show's relatable and genuine portrayal of family life resonated with audiences, contributing to its enduring popularity. The collaborative efforts of the writers and cast to infuse the series with authentic emotions and interactions brought a sense of familiarity to viewers, making it a beloved depiction of 1950s Americana. Farm don't make him work too hard. I don't think you need to worry about that, Beaver. I think Nick... In 1957, the TV series Leave It to Beaver featured Hugh Beaumont, who played Ward Cleaver. Notably, he was an ordained minister who reluctantly entered acting. During the show's rush production, Beaumont faced a personal tragedy due to a family accident. To shield young stars like Mathers and Tony Dow from overexposure, they were discouraged from watching the show to preserve their natural performances. This classic show's behind-the-scenes stories demonstrate the care taken to protect the young actors and maintain the authenticity of their roles. The guidance provided to Mathers and Dow highlights the importance of nurturing 
and safeguarding child actors in the demanding world of television. Their dedication and professionalism contributed to the enduring appeal and success of Leave it to Beaver. And if we feel, uh, as a family, that you boys have made a mistake, then we're going to return this... After the classic TV series ended, Jerry Mathers tried to enlist in the Marines but was rejected due to potential risks and eventually joined the Air National Guard. The Cleaver family's fictional address transitioned from 485 Mapleton Drive at Republic Studios to 211 Pine Street at Universal Studios, a location later featured in other popular series like Marcus Welby, M.D., and Desperate Housewives. This shift in filming locations allowed the iconic setting of the show to live on in future television productions, creating a lasting legacy for fans of the original show. <laughs> Look, June, if I gave in to his threats, how... The show humor and character nicknames were carefully crafted to ensure a light and family-friendly tone. Writers of the TV series were known to remove jokes that caused strong reactions, aiming for a more gentle humor throughout the show. The origin of Theodore Beaver Cleaver's nickname is revealed in the series as a mispronunciation by his brother, drawing inspiration from a real acquaintance of the co-creator, Joe Connolly. Well, I wonder what could have happened to him. Gee, Mom, maybe a lion got loose from a circus and ate him up. In 1957, the TV series concluded with a deliberate finale, Family Scrapbook, making it notable among shows of its time for providing closure to its characters' stories and contributions from Hugh Beaumont in directing. This classic holds a special place in the hearts of viewers for its thoughtful conclusion that wrapped up the narratives of the beloved characters. The efforts of Hugh Beaumont in directing added an extra layer of significance to this final episode, showcasing the talent and dedication of the cast and crew. The conclusion of Leave it to Beaver left a lasting impact on audiences, solidifying its status as a timeless classic in television history. Dad, he said he was going to join the pirates and come back with a wooden leg. <laughs> in 1957, the TV series Leave it to Beaver made a lasting impact with its family values. Hugh Beaumont's portrayal of Ward Cleaver was ranked number 28 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time, showcasing the show's enduring influence. This classic program continues to be remembered for its depiction of a loving family and wholesome values that resonate with audiences. Of course, that's the reason we're going. They're having open house at Chucky's Nursery School. Leave it to Beaver, a classic TV series from 1957, was well received during its time and left a lasting impact on popular culture. The show featured the daily life of the Cleaver family and resonated with audiences for its relatable and heartwarming storyline. Its portrayal of family values and childhood experiences struck a chord with viewers, making it a beloved show of its era. The legacy of Leave it to Beaver extends beyond its original run, inspiring various spin-offs, adaptations, and merchandise. Spin-off series like Still the Beaver continued the story of the characters, connecting with both old and new generations of fans. The show's influence can also be seen in other family-oriented TV programs that followed, emphasizing similar themes of love, humor, and life lessons. Moreover, the success of Leave it to Beaver led to the creation of merchandise such as toys, books, and clothing, allowing fans to bring a piece of the show into their own lives. The enduring popularity of the series paved the way for its cultural impact to be felt for decades to come, solidifying its place in television history. That's an hour ago. I wonder why he's at home. Well, she was a pretty good runner. Maybe they're still chasing her. <laughs> The casting process for the 1957 TV series, Leave it to Beaver involved thorough auditions where each key actor was carefully selected for their role. Jerry Mathers was chosen for the lead role of Theodore Beaver Cleaver after impressing the producers with his natural charm and innocence. Tony Dow was cast as Beaver's older brother, Wally, for his boy next door appeal and chemistry with Mathers. Barbara Billingsley secured the role of the iconic mother, June Cleaver, bringing warmth and grace to the character. Hugh Beaumont was selected to play the father, Ward Cleaver, for his authoritative yet approachable demeanor. The chemistry between the actors during auditions solidified their roles, creating a believable family dynamic that would define the series. Each actor's pivotal moment came during their screen tests, where their abilities to embody their characters shone through, leading to their ultimate casting decisions. The carefully chosen cast of Leave it to Beaver set the tone for the beloved family sitcom and became integral to its enduring success.
Hi, dear. How's the happy hour? The directorial vision behind the 1957 TV series, Leave It to Beaver, centered on portraying an idealized suburban family life. The director, Norman Tokar, aimed to capture the innocence and simplicity of childhood through the eyes of young Beaver Cleaver. His creative influences included the post-war American culture that celebrated family values and community. Tokar's style emphasized a warm, nostalgic tone, allowing viewers to connect emotionally with the characters. He often focused on relatable situations that highlighted moral lessons, using humor to engage the audience. Collaboration with the cast was crucial to Tokar's approach. He worked closely with the actors, especially with the child stars, to ensure their performances felt authentic and natural. The chemistry between the cast members added depth to the storytelling. Tokar encouraged improvisation, giving the children room to express their characters freely while maintaining the show's wholesome message. This collaborative environment fostered creativity and helped shape memorable moments that resonated with audiences. Through careful direction and attention to detail, Tokar successfully created a beloved classic that still holds a special place in television history. I did not get a fight with me, and I punched him in the stomach. A fight? June, will you bring the... The production of the 1957 TV series, Leave It to Beaver involved meticulous set design to recreate a wholesome suburban home. Locations were carefully chosen to reflect the idealized American family life of the era. Logistical challenges included coordinating child actor schedules and managing wardrobe continuity. Innovative techniques like multi-camera setups were used to streamline filming. Authenticity was key, with attention to detail in props and costumes. The show's success hinged on capturing the essence of post-war American values on screen. Hey, Wally. The musical score and soundtrack of the 1957 TV series Leave It to Beaver were carefully crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Composers and musicians worked collaboratively to create a soundtrack that captured the essence of the time period and the family-friendly themes of the series. The music was designed to underscore key scenes, evoke specific emotions, and immerse viewers in the world of the Cleaver family. Through a combination of uplifting melodies, playful tunes, and poignant orchestration, the music complemented the on-screen storytelling, enhancing both comedic moments and heartfelt family interactions. The composers and musicians involved in creating the soundtrack of Leave It to Beaver aimed to provide viewers with a rich auditory experience that deepened their connection to the characters and the overall storyline. Well, I realize that, son, but this is a little different case here. You see, In one iconic scene from the 1957 TV series Leave It to Beaver, the character of Beaver Cleaver gets into a hilarious mishap while trying to do his family's grocery shopping. The direction of this scene captures the comedic timing perfectly, with each moment building up to the ultimate comedic payoff. The performance by the actors, especially a young Jerry Mathers as Beaver, is filled with innocence and charm, drawing the audience into the humor of the situation. Cinematography in this scene plays a crucial role in enhancing the humor, with clever camera angles and well-executed shots adding to the comedic effect. The impact on the audience is one of pure delight, as they can't help but laugh at Beaver's misadventure and relate to his innocent mistakes. According to filmmakers and actors involved in the series, this scene was a standout moment that showcased the show's ability to blend heartwarming family moments with laugh-out-loud comedy. They emphasize the importance of creating relatable characters and situations that resonate with audiences of all ages, making Leave It to Beaver a timeless classic in television history. Before you The TV series Leave It to Beaver, which premiered in 1957, had a significant cultural and social impact on its audiences. It resonated with viewers by portraying an idealized version of American family life in the suburbs. The show influenced pop culture by popularizing the image of the perfect nuclear family, with Parents Ward and June Cleaver guiding their mischievous sons, Wally and Beaver, through various life lessons. Leave It to Beaver contributed to discussions on social themes such as the role of parents in children's development, gender roles within the family, and the challenges of growing up in post-World War II America. The show reflected and reinforced societal norms of the time, emphasizing the importance of family values, respect for authority, and the power of moral lessons. Through its portrayal of everyday family situations and the interactions between the characters, 
Leave It to Beaver highlighted the universal experiences and challenges of family life, making it relatable to audiences of all ages. The show's enduring popularity and cultural impact can still be seen in the nostalgic view many people hold of the 1950s family dynamics portrayed in the series. In conclusion, Leave It to Beaver served as a cultural touchstone for American society in the late 1950s and continues to be remembered for its influence on pop culture and its reflection of the values and ideals of the time. Party, wasn't it, Wally? Yeah, yeah, not bad. 1957 TV series, Leave It to Beaver received positive critical reception for its wholesome family-friendly content. Audience reactions were also favorable, praising the show's humor and relatable family dynamics. The series garnered multiple awards and nominations, including two Emmy Awards for Best Teleplay Writing and Best Telecast. These accolades recognize the show's creative writing and overall production quality, elevating the status of the cast and crew involved. The awards highlighted their talent and dedication to producing a beloved and successful television series. I went over to pay my 75 cents. When go to the movies? Yeah, I'll believe it when I see the dough. Filming Leave It to Beaver often felt like a family affair. Jerry Mathers, who played Beaver, shared how the cast would gather between scenes to play games. They transformed the set into a playground, making it a joyful place for everyone. Barbara Billingsley, known for her warm portrayal of June Cleaver, brought cookies for the cast and crew, creating a cozy atmosphere that helped solidify their bond. Wally, played by Tony Dow, often joked about how the adult actors had to keep a straight face during some of the boys' antics. He recalled a scene where Mathers accidentally tripped, and instead of breaking character, the crew erupted in laughter, leading to several retakes. The show's creator, Joe Connolly, made a point to incorporate real-life family experiences into the scripts, which brought authenticity to the stories. During filming, he often consulted with the child actors about their own lives, ensuring the dialogue sounded genuine and relatable. The camaraderie and laughter behind the scenes contributed greatly to the show's success and the fond memories the cast shares today. Remember the football game when Beaver got lost? You had to go down to the police station and prove... The 1957 TV series Leave It to Beaver holds a significant place in film history for its portrayal of suburban American life. It had a profound impact on future filmmaking by setting a standard for family-oriented sitcoms. The show's depiction of family dynamics and childhood experiences inspired a wave of similar television programs that focused on domestic life. Leave It to Beaver paved the way for shows that explored the challenges and humor of everyday family situations, influencing the development of sitcoms for years to come. The lasting legacy of Leave It to Beaver lies in its enduring popularity and cultural impact. It became a classic representation of 1950s American values and norms, offering a nostalgic glimpse into a bygone era. Its characters, such as the wholesome Cleaver family, resonated with audiences and contributed to the show's timeless appeal. Even decades after its original airing, Leave It to Beaver remains a beloved classic that continues to influence portrayals of family life in popular media. The show's legacy can be seen in the numerous references and homages made to it in modern TV shows, films, and literature. Its influence on popular culture persists as a touchstone for depictions of suburban family life and childhood experiences. Through its relatable characters and timeless themes, Leave It to Beaver has left an indelible mark on the landscape of American entertainment, solidifying its place in television history. Your room. Go on. And you just forget about that football game. I'm sorry. Reflecting on the classic 1957 TV series Leave It to Beaver, many viewers recall how it shaped their understanding of family dynamics and childhood. The show presented a wholesome view of suburban life, focusing on the everyday adventures and misadventures of young Beaver Cleaver and his older brother Wally. This portrayal resonated with audiences, sparking memories of their own childhood experiences. Many viewers appreciated the sense of innocence and the moral lessons woven into each episode. The interactions between Beaver, Wally, and their parents provided a model for family relationships that many aspired to emulate. As you think back to your own experiences with Leave It to Beaver, consider how it influenced your perspective on childhood and parenting. Did the show bring back fond memories of your own adventures growing up? How did its portrayal of family values resonate with your life? Sharing these reflections can create a rich dialogue among fans of the series. Engaging with others by liking, sharing, or subscribing helps keep these conversations alive 
inviting more cinematic explorations, and fostering a deeper appreciation for the impact of classic television on our lives. What'd he say? He said, go as my teacher. That's what I was going to school for. <laughs>